Alrighty, so today we're going to talk about domains and, um, you know, when is a good time to get it, where can I get it, which dot com US should I choose, why, and then I'm going to walk you through it on how to set it up. Now, I have a dot com. I got it, I think, a month after I started with my network marketing company, and I changed it once because i learned from some gurus <laughs> that um you should brand yourself and I'm, we're going to talk about that in another training um i just wanted to get with you guys on your domain because you know right now um if you use your network marketing company then you know it, it, it's a little bit long you know you have on um, networkmarketing.com manuela hatler and, you know, if you talk to people, you know, they always can remember your name quicker than, and then just like, oh, yeah, dot com. Instead of blah, 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 dot com, dash, Manuela Hattler. So um, I'm not saying you have to get it right now as soon as you signed up with us. Um, you know, I understand not everybody has the money right away, even though it's just like I think most of the I paid was $18 a year. Um, but if you can get it, I will get it, start branding yourself out there. You know, it, it, it looks better on a business card if, if you go on that route or if you sh share your um, website, you know, you can always say, hey, it's just my name dot com. In, and so it makes it a lot easier. Now, there are a lot of other uh, variations out there. There is dot com, dot org. Um, and I'm going to show you all that in a, in a minute. But uh, I, if you can all get it, I know we're running short kind of of dot coms now, you know, 20 years later after the internet. But I would definitely try to stick with the dot com, but don't make it complicated. Let's say your name is Brad Pitt and Brad Pitt dot com is taken. You know, you don't want to go Brad Pitt um, to dot com because a lot of people are not going to remember the two or whatever you put at the end and they're going to end up on somebody else's website or blog and you know squirrel that's where they're going to stay that's what they're going to check out and then they totally forget about you um if the one you want to do let's say mon I, mine is moneylahatler.com if the dot com wasn't available then i would have to see but when you if you brand yourself and you get the domain with um, your name usually dot com should be available and it's easy to remember hey check out my site at moneylahatler.com you know instead of hey check me out at recuboard.com slash moneylahatler <laughs> yeah it doesn't make sense if it makes sense please let me know uh, if you have any question um, put them you know let me know so i can help you out with that but that's pretty much in a nutshell no you don't have to get it right away um but if you can i would recommend that so you don't like give out these website to a couple of friends and then you change it and you know now they're trying to go to something else and you don't change it and it might cause a confusion and again you're missing out on a on a sale of your product Okay, so I'm going to share my screen here, and I'm going to share it with my Chrome tab, domains, and share. Okay, so you can buy domains in, in different areas. You can buy a domain from Google. You can go to domains.com. Um, what I would not recommend is if you have a blog or something, and you buy the domain through your blog. What if you want to make your plat move your platform from, let's say, Wix to Shopify or Shopify to Wix? The domain you bought was with them, and I know a lot of people have problems, you know, switching it over. So I would just go with, I go with GoDaddy because it's super simple, it's easy, it's affordable, and you can see it right here, um, Grabit.com. 11.99 and just to show you what all available so i'm going to put in my name 
and I'm going to go search domains. And, you know, it's going to tell me Manila Hatler is taken. Now, sometimes people have a domain and really what it is, is they, uh, they're not using it anymore. Like you, you could click here and then it would contact me and see if I wanted to sell my domain, which of course I don't. But you see, here is a lot of, you know, dot info, dot com, me, online, shop, live, net, store. And then I give you some alternatives. But like I said, I, like if I do manelahatlernow.com, they're probably going to forget the now. And then again, they don't land on my website. But as you can see, um, really the websites are not that expensive except for this one, but I mean, 11.99. Now, if mine were, let's see, I'm gonna change the name, say, let's say my name was Monela Smith. You could get it right now for a dollar a month, so that's $12 for the whole year. Um, once you once you um decide on a domain you just go continue to card now i'm going to log in and i'm going to show you how easy this really is so i'm i gotta log in and then sign in Okay, you see, you can't even get a website here, but I wouldn't because, quite frankly, if you want a website or a blog, you can get it very cheap on Google, and that way you have, you, if you're interested in that, you have a blog and a YouTube channel. It, God damn, dog, you're scared shit on me. Um, it'd be just easier if you have it all in one. But here I'm going to go to domains, and that should bring up all my domains right here. Now you see I had some other stuff down here, but I'm not using it anymore. So it so we go. Lay down. Um sorry, I got sidetracked. So this one uh I no longer use because like I said, I, I started branding myself rather than like something like that. And we'll now we'll be another training for y'all. But let's say I I bought this domain right now. And then really all you have to do, you go down here. Wait, that, that should wear my glasses, huh? Let me see. My domain. No, I don't want to add a website. There we go. Manage DNS. And it's usually all the way on the bottom. And it takes a little bit. And you don't have to worry about any of this. This will not change unless you start having, or this down here, unless you have a blog or you would click funnel, then you would have to change the name server. But really, just for this web, for this, you see, you would just go forwarding whatever your company is, um, you know. Like I said, like for me, it's pharmacy.com, Manuela. And mm -hmm. you put in, I put in temporary, but you want forward with masking. And masking is basically if they would put in uh, my name, just manuelahatler.com, it would work. But then in a browser itself, it will show, you know, pharmacy.com, Manuela Hatler. So just. To mask it, that it always shows your name on Uh I do masking, and it's very simple. You put in forwarding with masking, what you want it to say when people click, you know, type it in. And then here you just put that in, and that's it. And then you save, and that's it. That's all you got to do. It's super simple. It's totally affordable. And uh, let me go back here. So, yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't get any simpler than that. Now, if you have, 
the first time I did it, it was not that simple, <laughs> you know, because you're like, oh, it's not working right away. Sometimes it can take up to 24 hours to um, lock in, you know, change it over. Also, you want to make sure you spelled it right. If, if for some reason after 24 hours it's not showing up, then you want to you wanna double check, make sure you forward it. You, you didn't do, you know, like pharmacy.com, you know, you didn't leave a letter or something out. And that's really it. it it's super simple. Uh, like I said, I recommend it .com. There's still, especially if it's your name, available. And um, yeah, that that is really it. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments or shoot me an email. You know, and I'm making this primarily for my team. But if you've seen this on YouTube and you have any questions, please reach out. My email is in the description, and I can walk you through it. I hope that helps you all. I hope it, you found value. I hope it's. Um, as simple as, as it seems that I brought that across. Like I said in all my videos, um, what you see is what you get. I don't I don't change. I don't filter. I don't edit. I don't have time for that. <laughs> I have a lot of other appointments going on. So here it is. Like I said, if you like this video, please hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and then whenever I upload it, uh, a video you get notified and I promise my videos will get better over time. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a good day. Bye.